As you guys know, Onision Speaks is rapidly becoming a mature, intelligent, and educational channel. And today we're going to learn about what the Bible actually says. Because for some reason, it's like a lot of people who say they support the Bible haven't even read a page of it. But first, the Onision comment of the day. Direction's not precise enough. Accidentally stuck it in my ass and lost my hearing. Thank you for that comment. It was very important for us to know that you shoved a tampon in your ass. Oh, would you look at that? Everyone's touching the Bible so fondly. They're all just so supportive of a book full of hate. If a man beats his slave and they die as a direct result, he must be punished. But he is not to be punished if the slave gets up after a day or two, since the slave is his property. Way to go, Christians. Keep supporting slavery. You are my freedom, Jesus. You're the reason I'm kneeling again. At your throne. Yes, at his throne. Because he is not a president, he is a king. Which means there will be no democracy in heaven. Enjoy that. Speaking of slaves, which you are and will continue to be so long as you follow God, slaves obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them as sincerely as you would serve Christ. Yes, the Bible loves promoting slavery. Just to be clear, guys, these are quotes from the Bible. These aren't opinions. These aren't interpretations. The Bible is bullcrap. If a man is caught in the act of raping a young woman who is not engaged, he must pay 50 pieces of silver to her father, and he must marry the young woman because he violated her, and he will never be allowed to divorce her. Oh, you showed that, rapist. The Bible's stance on rape? It's cool if you pay her daddy. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor tattoo any marks on you. I am the Lord. Uh-oh. So all y'all getting tattoos all over your body? Yeah, enjoy burning in hell. If your religion promotes killing non-believers, beating women, punishing rape victims, or selling your daughter's wives at 12, you're not praying to the God above, you're praying to Satan. Meanwhile, all these Bible quotes telling you to kill non-believers, beat women, punish rape victims, and sell your daughters as slaves. You people have obviously not read the goddamn Bible. Because the goddamn Bible is goddamn bullshit. It's not up for interpretation. You can't cherry pick which part of the Bible you'll follow and which part you won't. It doesn't work like that. The Bible was written for its supporters to follow to the letter. If your religion is based around the Bible, acting like you know more than the Bible does is blasphemy. If you're gonna try to twist meanings and shit, you may as well unzip your pants and piss on it. It is what it is. There's no introduction to the Bible that says you're way more intelligent than the people who wrote this. So make sure you try to water it down and you know say stupid crap like, well the Old Testament doesn't apply, but the New Testament does. So we'll go ahead and pancake them together anyway. And then pretend to be innocent while continuing to publish hate speech. Let a woman learn in silence with full submission. I permit no woman to teach or to have authority over man. She is to keep silent. So Christians, tell me more about how great your Bible is. For those who claim God loves everyone, the Lord regretted that he had made human beings on earth and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created and with them the animals, the birds, and the creatures that move along the ground. For I regret I have made them. Uh-huh. You know that whole Noah thing? Yeah. See, God is actually worse than Hitler. How was he worse than Hitler? Well, he invented Hitler. Oh, Satan invented Hitler? Well, actually, Satan was created 100% by God. So God created Satan, and even if Satan did create Hitler, he was still a product of God. And on top of that, God wiped out more people than Hitler could even imagine in that massive flood that you guys talk about. All non-sea creature animals on the entire planet, with the exception of a select few, God murdered. But let's talk about how great he is. Let's just believe what people tell us about a person without actually thinking for ourselves for a second. Hey, that doesn't make any sense. He loves us, but he'll let us burn for all eternity if we don't do exactly what he says? What should a Christian do if a family member wishes to join another religion? If your very own brother or son or daughter, or the wife you loved or the closest friend, secretly entices you saying, let us go and worship other gods. Do not yield to them or listen to them. Show them no pity. Do not spare them or shield them. You must certainly put them to death. Oh, but Christianity's so good. We only want to love people. You don't know what you're talking about when you say the Bible says all this evil crap. Maybe you should read the Bible. What are you talking to, Amir? You read the Bible. I'm reading it right in front of you. You guys think the Westboro Baptist Church is insane? Compared to the actual Bible, technically they're a little watered down because the Bible actually instructs people specifically to kill homosexuals just for being homosexual. If a man lies with a male as a woman, both of them shall be put to death for their abominable deed. Oh, is that why you put a G-spot in the man's butt? Because it's so abominable, God? Is that why when gay men sleep with each other, they're all like, oh my God, Lord and Savior, that feels so good. Yeah, see, science is contradicting you there, Bible. Our lovely pro-slavery Bible quote yet again. Obey your masters, slaves. Thanks, God. Nice to know that you approve of the KKK. Reason is the greatest enemy that faith has. So when someone tries to reason with somebody who's faithful, it's bad. Using evidence and logic. Oh, no. And also notice how scientifically incompetent the Bible is. If the Bible were legit, it might actually tell you something that you couldn't just make up. A marriage shall be considered valid only if the wife is a virgin. If 
What? That's some pretty fine sexism you got going there, Bible. Show them no mercy. Have no pity. Kill them all, old and young, girls and women, and little children. Oh, wow. God is so great. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband. Super duper. But no, Christians, act like this is all made up fantasy and that the Bible is actually full of love and nothing else. I mean, you already believe whatever you believe without having any legitimate reason to believe it. Why would this video make any difference to a bunch of delusional idiots? No one whose testicles are crushed or whose male organ is cut off. I'll enter this. <laughs> wow, that's kind of transphobic. If you were a guy and are now a girl because you got a sex change, you're not going to heaven. It clearly states that. I'm not interpreting. It literally says that. Jesus Christ. So the Bible is sexist. It's transphobic. It's homophobic. It's racist. It's pro-slavery. It supports punishing rape victims for being raped. Do I need to go on? Or are you people actually going to look up these quotes and realize how foobar the Bible really is? I am Jesus. Jesus Christ and he man long story short if you are a Christian and you fully support the Bible I genuinely believe you're mentally retarded nobody should fully support the Bible because the Bible is evil any book that anywhere says anyone should kill somebody for their sexual preference any book that says anywhere that rape victims should be punished for being raped this hate speech should not be allowed in our modern civilization and yet Christians regularly promote it and if you ever want to see a physical manifestation of what the Bible actually looks like one of the closest things once again, looks like this. Westboro Baptist Church. Christians, you may think you're different than Westboro Baptist Church, but the reality is, is you're both promoting the same book. The difference between them and you, they're actually honest about what the Bible says, which makes you bigger hypocrites than them. Regardless, hope you all have a wonderful day. Oops, squeeze. We are not robots. We are not slaves. We are banana nation.